Today I'm going to share the recipe for paleo daiquiri smoothie. Um, in my 20s, daiquiris were my absolute favorite drink and lately I've been thinking about them and wanting to see if I could recreate a lowish carb paleo friendly version because we're in a little bit of a paleo moment at the moment doing a bit of a paleo challenge and I experimented mixing and matching some ingredients and I came up with a drink which I feel tastes very close to a daiquiri but there's no alcohol in it so perfectly good and healthy to enjoy with a whole family really um, so I will be sharing that recipe with you today and I've written a blog post which I'll leave down below which goes through the full recipe which you can pin bookmark save to enjoy whenever you want some paleo daiquiri goodness and if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe for more yummy inspirations and leave a like and a comment too let me know what you thought of this video so let's get straight into the recipe into the blender we're going to add a third of a cup of berries fresh berries I've got raspberries that I'm using and then a third of a cup of frozen berries. I'm using strawberries. You can, you can use all raspberries or all strawberries or a mix of both. I like a mix of both just for a rounded berry taste. And then I'm going to add the juice of half of a lime in. You can use lemon or a lime. If they are pips, make sure you catch them so they don't end up in your smoothie. And then to balance the flavours out, I'm just going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of stevia in. You can use your sweetener of choice, you can add more, you can leave it out if you want. But I just find it just needs that little bit of sweetness to balance it out. And finally, a half a cup I am using as my liquid coconut water. I'm just pouring it out. Here we go. I've got a half a half a cup of coconut water and um, if you want to make this keto use less berries and uh, I've used sparkling water instead there's my beautiful coconut water and um, use sparkling water if you want instead it obviously won't be exactly the same flavor but to make it low carb and keto if you don't want to use coconut water if you want to use as much berries then that's a little adaptation for you and then we're just going to pop on the lid and get it blending lid is on let's get it on I'm using a new Bullet. I got one the other week and I absolutely love it. So we'll get it on. I might just adjust the camera so you can see what I'm doing. There we go, that's better. Now you can watch my paleo daiquiri smoothie being created. And just stop it from time to time, give it a little shake to make sure everything gets properly distributed and it's Mix it up some more. And that is perfect. Let's take it off and we'll pour it out into a glass. There we go, my little lonely glass over there. Let's pour out the daiquiri. Oh, that's so good. Really tastes like a daiquiri. So yum, but that is the recipe for today. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure that you leave a like, subscribe for more yummy inspirations, and leave me a comment too. Let me know if you've tried this recipe, what you thought. Yep, it makes a cup full. You can definitely make more, but I find that's just perfect. Little afternoon pick-me-up. I've been having this the last week or so every other day, and it is so good. So yum, and check down below for the recipe as well. Make sure you pin it so when you want some paleo daiquiri smoothie goodness, you can easily enjoy it. So thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye!